Hi everyone. Today we're going to be covering how to add a stamp to a PDF using Soda PDF. First, click on the comment section and you'll see the stamp tool over here. When you click, by default, you'll be able to choose one of our pre-made stamps by selecting one from the list. You'll see your mouse icon update. Then you'll be able to hold down the left mouse button and drag your cursor to choose the size of your stamp. Once you're ready, release the mouse button and it will be placed onto your document. You can then click into edit mode where you can select your stamp, move it around your document, or resize it by placing your mouse icon over one of the circles on the border and dragging your mouse cursor. Instead of using one of our pre-made stamps, you can head back to the stamp tool where you'll be able to create a custom stamp. This lets you browse your computer, choose any image file that you'd like to use. You can then proceed to add a name to your stamp and then click on create. The next time you head to the stamp tool, you'll be able to head to the custom section where your newly created stamp will appear and you can proceed to drag and place that stamp anywhere on your document. You can remove any stamp that you've created by hovering your mouse over the stamp and clicking on the X icon. You can also create a dynamic stamp. This will be similar to the pre-made stamps that exist in Soda PDF. Here, you can set the author name. You can choose whether or not to show the time and date that the stamp was applied to your document by toggling this switch. You can update the caption of your stamp by typing anything into this box. You can then click into this drop-down to choose between the available fonts on your system, and you can head over here to adjust the size. You can choose to bold or italicize your text, and if you want to change the color, just click on this circle to choose a new one. This slider will modify the opacity of your stamp. Once you've set up everything, you can click on Create, then head back to the stamp tool where you'll see your new stamp appear under your dynamic stamps and you can proceed to add it to your document. While in edit mode, you can select any stamp and hit the delete key to remove it. Or you can right click on your stamp and hit delete. You're also able to add comments directly to your stamp. You can right click on it while in edit mode and choose reply and add slash edit comment. This will open up the comment box where you can type in your comment here. Anyone receiving this PDF will be able to respond to that comment directly. Well, that's all there is to it. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook to stay up to date with everything happening in the world of Soda PDF. Thanks for watching everyone and please have a wonderful day.